residents, friends, supporters. I stand here humbly asking for your vote to serve you and represent you to make living in Chua Chukang in Singapore a better place. Thank you for the honour of serving you. Thank you for giving me the honour of serving you for the past five years. During those years, we have gone through much together, the tough years when we worked together to help the retrenched, the needy, the many who needed assistance to tide through difficult times. That was not too long ago. Now the economy is doing well, many residents are employed and better able to pursue their aspirations. But I also hear and share your concerns that we must contain the rising cost of living. And I think the government, if you have listened to PM, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, Go Chok Tong, we've all spoken quite a bit that this is a priority for the government of tomorrow. The Grow and Share package will help many families, but we must also consider what the PAP has done and is doing as a whole. Whether it is about strengthening the Singapore dollar, reducing dependency on foreign workers to boost productivity, boosting wages of Singaporeans, or improving incomes of low-income workers through work for and other subsidies for housing, education, and healthcare. Sometimes we find these things complex as the benefits are indirect and implemented nationally. And that makes it easy for some, especially the opposition, to manipulate your minds with simplistic messages that do not tell the whole truth. But I believe that Singaporeans are smarter than that. You are smarter than that. And you can feel with your heart on what matters and who can be your safety net. We can be your safety nets. We have been that safety net too. Of course, it's easy for one to say and ask the government to give everything and ask citizens to pay for nothing. We have to ask ourselves, what is the price of welfare if the government has to give everything? What they don't tell you is where they get the money. So PAP, so PAP has to ensure that the social system is not abused, the social assistance schemes cater for the needy and those who are in need, and for the middle income and upper income group, we ensure that the, un the un unemployment remains low, people have jobs, we look towards increasing your salaries. And, over, and we have, over, our middle income group has risen in terms of salaries by 10% over the last decade. Many advanced countries have not seen any increase. In fact, many countries have seen them decrease because the rest of the world, we must remember, are not doing as well as we have. But why are we doing well? Why are we doing well? It's because the PAP government has helped us to do well. And more importantly, when we, we do well, we share our surplus too. It may not be much, but very few countries, I don't know of many who do the same, who give back to citizens what we take from our economy, what we gather from our economy. So back to my point, I think Singaporeans can see beyond this veil put by the opposition. It is easy for the opposition to ask the government to do everything because they want to participate in politics, they want to get elected, but they don't want to do the dirty job and the hard work at hand. The hardest part of being an MP is not about speaking in parliament. I have all my speeches and parliamentary questions on my Facebook. You can read them, many, but those are not difficult parts. They are difficult in terms of thinking, they are difficult in terms of ideas, but to implement a statement, to implement an announcement, whether it's a town council plan or a new community club or new CC or new upgrading plan, it takes months and years of hard work before you see anything materialize. And each of my colleagues here, they have given you areas that we will deliver over the next five years. These are not talk, it's about part in parliament. We will deliver in fact, we will do more than that. We will listen, explain, speak up, at the end of the day, deliver 
we will raise funds if we need to. So the, part, so the government puts in programs, fundamental programs, but on the ground, we identify, we deliver assistance packages to those in needs. It is no easy task, because beyond the Meet the People sessions, we work with agencies, welfare organizations, sponsors, to put these packages together. So let's go back to our track record. Over the last five years, we have helped as a GRC residents with a total of about $16.4 million on education assistance, helping 51,000 residents be in terms of scholarships, bursaries, kindergarten financial assistance. Over the same five years, we have also helped welfare cases with vouchers, ang paos, interim assistance measures for a total of 1.9 million benefiting 13,500 residents. Many of the MPs work hard to raise funds, and some raise as much as $1 million in one event. For me personally, since the Ket Hong CC plans was announced, since we got approval two months ago, we have raised about $1 million just to goodwill of residents and supporters. I still need to raise much more despite government subsidies, but this shows the confidence that people have in us to deliver this project. The community has confidence in this team to deliver this project. Residents, it has been a pleasure to serve you and ask you only for the mandate to continue serving. Many of you have been an inspiration to us all. It is not just about the cases we helped, it is not just about the social assistance we helped, but we have been inspired by many who have shown the resilience to work with us to improve their lives. So I give an example of Madam Tan Hui Hui, who lives in Take Wai. She and her three children live in a two-room rental flat, two in school, one going NS. Her ex-husband stopped paying her maintenance since 2003 due to illness. So we recognize that her gross income of $1,100 a month is not sufficient. I think many people tell us that and we know that. But by working with us, her youngest child is assisted by MOE for financial assistance. School fees are waived. He gets free textbooks. In addition, she also benefits from other government support schemes such as workfare, GST offset packages, you save rebates, and there are many more. <coughs> and there's also a video I'd like to talk about but this is not the same video as you think. Okay, it's not the same video, it's also on YouTube, and it's a different type of video. You can also find me on, find me on my Facebook on how the community has come behind cases which we help. The community has also inspired us by helping others who are less fortunate. In this case, Madam Moy. It is not about how we helped her, but how the community rallied behind her. Singaporeans out there, who don't ordinarily know about such cases, calling us and asked, can they help? And this exemplifies the right values we want to inculcate the community. These are values that we want in our society. These are values that we must inculcate in our children. It's not a handout that matters. We do our part as your MP, but the community also does its part and helps those in need. And I think that is the right step. We have many, many more stories to share about our achievements, but it is not about achievements. That's not my objective. Because my objective is for us to look to the future, the next five years, to look at what we can offer. But what I've shared so far shows the resources, the networks, the dedication that we, the team has to continue to help you, to help residents of Chua Chu Kang. In the moment, Minister Gai will announce a new program, an improved program for five years. Because Chua Chu Kang, we hear you. We know the economy is challenging and rising costs is a challenge. Minister will share our plan on a wraparound plan around jobs and training for our workers, financial aid, better support for families, education support for children. And this will encompass all residents, whether you're low income, middle income, as long as you're impacted and you think that you're severely impacted by the rising cost of living. Why? Because we know 
the government schemes are not catch on. But this is where the MP's hard work begins. This is the MP's hard work to deliver programs that we can be flexible with, even for middle income earners who are severely impacted. As a whole, we will also monitor prices in the constituency. And for me, I'll take merchants to task if there are any abuses of pricing. So who says that the PAP is not proactive? After listening to many of the programs and initiatives for the residents that my colleagues have presented, I don't see that there is a better team or package for you to choose from. Our town council plan has taken feedback from residents, takes into account feedback from residents. Your aspirations, your concerns, the way you want to shape Chua Chu Kang Town. We raise funds if necessary to fill in gaps to help where residents are in need. Do judge and ask the right questions, the hard questions, and put all candidates to scrutiny, whether it's the PAP or the opposition. Take us all to scrutiny and I can tell you we have the better plan. For me, I will continue to feature your feedback in Parliament and many of you have interacted with me whether online or in person will know that I have taken on issues ranging from jobs, education, estates, even scrutiny of the government like the YOG if necessary, and local issues such as safety concerns leading to shield doors for the Chachuka MRT. Nothing is too small if it's important enough for you or important enough for Singapore. We are here to stand by you. We serve with a heart, no hidden agendas. It's about you, your concerns, your aspirations and how your government can fulfill them the best it can. Ladies and gentlemen, we are your safety net. This is the team that will listen and deliver. Give us your vote. We are the team that will stand by you as we have the past few years in good times and in bad times. So once again, I stand by here, I stand by here humbly asking to serve once again, asking for your vote. Majula PAP! Majula Chuan Majula Singapura! Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zaki Mohammed, candidate of the Chuan GR.